Hello, Peter Carson here, President of Extranet User Manager and Envision IT. A brief talk here on Teams governance and automation. I'm going to straight, start with a great infographic from fellow MVP Matt Wade, um, who's illustrating here how when you create things like a Microsoft Team, it actually creates a, a whole set of applications under Office 65 as part of an Office 65 group. And while that's great, we actually encourage our clients to turn off the out-of-the-box self-service just because you can get sprawl and out-of-control of creation of teams and Office 5 groups and SharePoint sites and all the relevant pieces as part of that. You want to have some structure and some governance around that to make sure that it's rolled out appropriately. And you still want self-service, but what we've done is put together an open source solution that includes a self-service form, uh, some Azure automation, workflows, scripts, etc. that make sure things are approved and created in a consistent way. We actually have a, an open source solution up on the GitHub link there that you can have a look at. Let's actually use Envision IT, which is our consulting arm of our business, as an example for this. So being a consulting organization, we have lots of clients and we do projects for each of those clients. What we do is create a Microsoft team for each client, gets us a, a team site, a OneNote notebook, a stream, a planner, all the elements that we need to, to work with that client. And then as we start each project for a client, we within that team for the client, we create what's called a channel in Teams for that. That's a spot to organize our persistent conversations. It creates a folder in SharePoint so we can keep all the documents related to that project together. But what we also do is we create a new section in OneNote to keep all the notes about that project together and organized, a channel in Stream for all any recordings of Teams calls that we may do, a plan and planner for our task management, and then we set the tabs up in Teams to connect everything up from that. So you can see here, this is kind of the structure that we get, that when we create a team, think of that as a client, uh, we're getting an Office 365 group that includes the modern team site, but we want to have that configured in a particular way. We've got um, site columns, content types, views on our lists and our libraries and such that we have in a particular way for a client site, so we want that all pre-configured. We've got our OneNote notebook. The same thing with uh, Planner, though. You know, it's for task management, but we may have predefined buckets and tasks that we want to set up uh, for every team as part of that. And then Stream in there for recordings. And then let's get the tab set up in Teams in a consistent way so people know how to find things within there. And then as we're creating a new project for that client, we're going to create a new team channel for that. Uh, we actually create what's called a section in OneNote. So we have sections for every project to keep it organized. We may decide to use Planner for that project. So we want our buckets and tasks in there. We may want a channel in Streams, which is different than a Teams channel, but keeps it organized from that point of view. And again, we want all the tabs set up around that. Let's do a very quick demo of what this looks like. I flip over to my browser here, and we'll start at a modern communication site, which is a great place for people to go to request a new Microsoft team. You can have lots of resources there, self-service videos, make sure adoption is strong from that point of view, but it's also the place they come to actually request a team. Here we have a SharePoint framework web part uh, that's part of our GitHub solution, so we can request a team or a site for a particular division. Let's just use our demos here, and we have different templates available through there. I can do an out-of-the-box modern team site, and I have options here not only to create the team, but also whether I want to create a OneNote, a planner as part of that as well. Or if we switch this to the modern client site template, all those decisions are pre-baked, so every client site is done in a consistent way. So let's have a look when I do that, what shows up in Teams from here. So here's a general tab or channel of the Teams provisioning team that I've created through that provisioning process. And we can see here that we've got different tabs already preset out through there. So we've got a OneNote tab that takes us to the OneNote that was created for that. I can have all my notes about my client in there. I can come in here and I can start a new project by adding a channel. And again, we've got a concept of templates. So I can have a general template for a channel. Again, I've got choices around OneNote or Planner for that. Or again, I could have a client project where we predefine that. I come over here to a client project one that we've created. And again, I can see I've got my tab set up. And in my OneNote here, if I expand this, I see it's actually created a new section for that new channel in OneNote for me. So we've done some automation into OneNote. And the same thing with Planner as well. Um, in addition to having the tabs up in Teams here, we've got predefined buckets and tasks all set for our client project to go from there. So check out our Teams provisioning page. It's got lots of resources, white paper, the GitHub source links, everything you need to do to, to implement our solution in here. Uh, if you've got more questions, though, by all means, reach out. Thank you.